Okay, so guys, are you ready? All right, so let's do this example. So here, guys, I have a small graphic toy that is forced downward into a fluid medium with an initial velocity of 60 meters per second. What does this mean? So what does an initial velocity of 60 meters per second mean? This is what? V0 sign, which means this is V at t is equal to zero, which means what? This is a boundary condition, or this this is the initial condition. All right, so this is a condition for the integration. So when t is equal to zero, V0 is not t equal to zero, it's equal to 60 meters per second, all right? Due to the resistance of the fluid, the projectile experiences a deceleration so there is a deceleration, right? What does this mean? A should be negative. That is equal to minus 0.4 v, cube, v cubic, where V is in meters per second. Determine the projectile's velocity four seconds after it is fired. Guys, in fact, here, since I know the motion is downward, what I'm going to do is to take a positive S downward. All right? Let's change the color. Green. So... I'm going to take this as my S, the positive S, right? And then what I'm going to do is also to specify V. What is V positive? It is downward. So this is V positive. However, guys, A is not positive. A is negative. What does this mean? Since A is negative, the motion is decelerated. The motion is decelerated means that V is decreasing with respect to time. And this means that A is upward. It's not downward, it's not with the motion. It's upward, it is opposite to the motion. So it is decreasing the velocity of this motion. Now, the question is to find the velocity. I'm gonna show you the four equation and then choose uh, uh, the uh, corresponding equation. All right, so this equation is, all right, let me change the color. All right, so is, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, v is equal to ds over dt. This is the first equation. Now, a is equal to dv over dt. This is the second equation. A is also equal to d squared s over dt squared. And the fourth equation is v dv equal to a d s now which equation should i use what do you think guys which equation should i use <clears throat> hussein and taraf they are saying the second equation the second equation nur the second one all right so what do you think guys can i use the second equation and why should i use it in fact i know the equation of a in terms of v so let me try if i put the first equation could it be used because in fact I don't have any A here to replace it with the equation of V. Alright? So I'm not gonna use the first equation. If I take the third equation and I replace A by minus 0.4 V cubic, then I cannot use also this equation because I'm I'm still have three variables, V, S, and T. So I'm cannot use the third equation. Now, if I use the fourth equation and I replace A by V, what I'm gonna have is how many variables? How many variables? Two also. All right? So I can use this equation. This is the first equation that I can use because if I place A by minus 0.4 V cubic, then I'm going to have two variables equations that are V and S. Okay? The second equation could also be used because if I replace A by minus 0.4 V cubic, I can have only two variables equation that are v and t so i have two equations that could be used i have to choose between them which one is this the second one or this will be the fourth one what do you think guys and why the second at best the second because it has time in it 
All right, so why do I have to have time? The fourth, because Hassan is saying it is the fourth because it has no time. So I'm now confused. Do I have to choose the equation with time or the equation without time? In order, guys, to make things clear, right? If I choose this equation and replace A with minus 0 0.4 V cubic, I will have an equation uh, 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 of two variables. Those are V and C. Okay? If I choose the fourth one, I'm going to have an equation between V and S. So what do I have to choose? With T or with S? I need to find the velocity, all right? So do I have to choose the equation with T or the equation with S? Sana is saying that I should use the equation with T. Why? Why, guys? Why, Tariyaf? Yes, perfect, Abbas. Because the question, guys, is to find the velocity Four seconds after it is fired. So the equation is in terms of time. It's not in terms of S. And don't forget, guys, that I have the initial velocity, which means it is the velocity when T is equal to zero. So I only have the parameters, or I only have the input with respect to time, not with respect to S. And that's why I should use the second one, all right? And that's why, guys, yes, yes, guys, that's why I should use the second one, okay? So I should use A is equal to dV over dt, and then I can do the integration, right? So that's it. So, guys, after replacing A by minus 0 0.4 v, v cubic, what should I do? What should I do, guys? Step two. So I know that this is my uh, appropriate equation. I substitute A by minus, minus 0 0.4 V cubic. Now, what should I do? Separation of variables. Perfect. That's Right? So I have to do a separation of variables, which means I have to take minus 0 0.4 V cubic with, uh, with dV, and then this will be dV. Guys, guys, why I didn't do minus 0 0.4 V cubic over dV, and this would be equal to 1 over dT? Because, in fact, guys, if I want to do the integration dV, dT, dS should be as numerator. Right, not never as denominator, right? So that's why uh, uh, keep always your differential variable as numerator, right? Then now I can do the integration on both sides. Right? When t is equal to zero, v zero is equal to 60 in the positive direction, and when t is equal to t, this dv will be v, right? And then, guys, you can do the integration, of course, one over v cubic. Don't forget, guys, that 1 over v cubic is v minus 3. So if you do the integration of v minus 3, so the integration of v minus 3 dv, it is what? It is v to the power minus 2 over minus 2, which means it is minus 1 over 2 v squared, right? And don't forget that you have a coefficient here, and minus sign with minus sign will be plus. So it will be 1 over 0 0.8 v squared. This is the integration of v. And of course, don't forget to put it between 60 and v. All right? So it is between 60 and v. So you have to substitute v by 60, because v0 is, no, is not 0 here. All right? So I can find v, and then it is equal to 4v is equal to 0 0.55. 9, and since it is positive, then it is in the positive direction. And you have, guys, to uh, uh, you have uh, to uh, uh, come up with, the, uh, with uh, 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 the value of V at T is equal to 4 uh, seconds, and this value should be less than uh, the first initial value, which is 60. Why? Because, in fact, it is decelerating, right? So the motion is decelerating. So the second V or V, at is equal to 4 seconds should be less than the initial velocity, all right? 